So this first mistake is a bad one. Seriously, the ladies absolutely hate it. In fact, I read about one woman that was so shocked, she left the date two minutes in. What am I talking about? Your outdated online photos. If you're in a relationship and haven't upgraded your Instagram or Facebook profile photo for five years, yeah, no one's going to get too upset. But if you're dating, if you're sliding into someone's DMs, if you have a profile for romantic purposes, you want to make sure that the picture you have on that profile is honest. Now, notice I didn't say unflattering. You can take images in certain ways to make yourself look a little bit better, but you want to make sure that it's a representation of what you really look like. Seriously, if your hair is gray and it's been gray for the last five years, you want a picture that represents that. If you're carrying an extra 30 pounds now in your late 30s, I'm not saying you need to put up a picture of your gut, but you don't want to put up a picture when you were 25 and in the best shape of your life. Now, I know what you're thinking. The ladies lie all the time. They put up these pictures from certain angles that make them look amazing and you meet them in person and they look nothing like that. Exactly. And how does that make you feel? Well, if you knock down already three to 10 beers, maybe you're saying, oh, this is good enough. I'm just going whaling tonight. Damn. Seriously though, we may be a bit more forgiving, but the ladies, they hold this against us. As in meaning this date is going nowhere. Today's video, gents, is all about the mistakes older men make trying to look young. The next mistake I see older guys making, wearing that 20-year-old college sweatshirt. Yeah, you went to Harvard and you love telling the world. It's been 20 years since you graduated. You want to relive the years. Here's the thing. You're living in your past and everybody sees it. Now, nothing wrong with having and supporting your team. I mean, I got my Texas sweatshirt. I love it. Welcome home. But here's the thing, when I'm going out, I realize that's not necessarily, you know, something I want to wear in public. It's 20 years old. It's falling apart. And the social status thing doesn't work when you're 20 years out. Maybe when you're 10 years out, but definitely not 20 or 30. And let's talk about oversized logos. Okay, when you're a kid, yeah, oversized logos are cool. You want to wear that big polo logo that takes up half the shirt. Nowadays, you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s. Why are you still wearing that huge logo? Unless polo or that brand is paying you money. Those large logos, I think they look okay on younger men, but I still think they're a bit gaudy. On older men, yeah, they just don't look good. Speaking about clothing, let's talk about those graphic tees. They're fine when you're in your teens, you're in college, you want to make a statement, you're in your 20s and you're just having fun. But past that, I would say, yeah, go to straight, go to v-necks, look maybe for polos, bring in Henleys, so many other options out there besides that loud graphic tee. I used to have this t-shirt right here. I actually wore that shirt in college and I know this because I have a buddy of mine, his wife, still reminds me about it because I was in her class, gave this presentation, I wasn't even thinking about it and she was so just like shocked that I was wearing this. Yes. Uh, good times. All right, guys. So today's video is brought to you by my company, Vitaman. If you haven't heard the news, gents, we are making the best natural grooming products on the planet. Seriously, our stuff is so damn good. If you're not 100% satisfied, we've got a money back guarantee that I stand behind. Gents, the whole reason I took an ownership stake in this company is I was blown away by the quality of the ingredients going into the products. Over the years, you guys wrote me about trying to find grooming products that had natural ingredients, that actually solved your problem, that didn't irritate your skin. Well, guess what? Vitaman is the solution. And for you guys in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s that want to look younger, you need to check out our anti-aging products. So if you have lines on the skin that you want to make less noticeable, you want to check out our anti-wrinkle serum. If you've got dark circles under the eyes and you want a natural solution, you're going to want to check out our eye serum. And even if you're in your 20s and 30s, living in the city, exposing your skin to all the harsh chemicals in the air, you want to check out our skin protector. We've got our thin hair treatment kit, which has our hair thickening shampoo, our hair thickening conditioner, and our proprietary hair food. All of these products infuse your hair and scalp with vitamins and nutrients that leave it looking thicker and fuller. And we've also got the best shaving cream on the planet, which I'm a little bit biased to because I helped develop it. It is amazing shaving cream. So guys, go over to Vitamin. I'm linking to it down in the description with the best deal you're going to find out there on the web. Seriously, use it or lose it, guys. This is my company. I stand behind every product we sell. Just go check it out and see what we've got to offer. The next mistake older guys make trying to look young is not embracing their new colors. They stick with the colors that have always worked for them. But here's the thing. As you age, as you get older, your skin starts to change the colors and the tones. Your hair 
can change color. So, if you're starting to gray, accept that and guess what? All of a sudden, you can bring in gray clothing. You normally wore black. Let's bring in charcoal gray. Let's bring in medium gray. Let's start to reflect the colors that we naturally see in you. All of a sudden, you can start bringing in a bit more pastels. You would usually go for stronger, heavier colors. But as your skin gets a little bit lighter, as it starts to maybe have a little bit less color, you can actually use that to your advantage by not drawing out the color but actually bringing in colors that work with you and your age. Next up, going with that complete shaggy look. You know what I'm talking about, that tussle look, that bedhead type of look. That worked when you were in your early 20s and it was acceptable to have really messed up looking hair. Wow. Now, you're in your 50s, you're in your 40s, your hair is starting to gray. You're in your 30s and you are looking to move up. Guys, take care of your hair. Unless you are Hugo Jacomet, you most likely cannot pull off that gray long hair. I mean, seriously, Hugo, you look good. If you can pull it off like this, yeah, ignore my advice. The next mistake mature men make trying to look young is that they follow all the trends. And trends are cool. You can try them out. I'm not saying if you're 65 that you can't try out a trend. But what I am saying is does it actually suit your body type? Because most of the trends out there are geared towards a man which is he's in the best shape of his life. Skinny, thin guys that certain types of clothing is going to look fine in like skinny jeans. But as we see the trend towards baggier clothing, is this going to work for your profile? If you are 6 foot 2, 140 pounds, probably not because it's just going to make you look skinnier like you're wearing your big brother's clothing. But if you're 240 pounds, if you're six foot two, then it's a different story. You want to find the clothing that suits your body type. The next mistake mature guys make trying to look young, they try to talk like the kids. They hear them speaking a certain way, you're in your 40s, you're in your 50s, and you're trying to talk the slang of a 20 year old. Unless you hang out with 20 year olds and you really understand it, don't try it. Otherwise, you're going to be sus. Yes, they're going to be able to pick you up to know that you are an imposter and it's going to be worse than, than not even having tried. The next mistake mature men make trying to look young, wearing too much black. I alluded to it earlier, but black is a very stark, very harsh contrast color. Meaning that when it's up against lighter skin and your skin naturally gets lighter as your age, you lose a bit of the color from the skin. Your hair naturally gets lighter and thinner as you age. So, all of a sudden black up next to that can be too overpowering. It can be too stark of a contrast. It can literally draw the color out of your skin and that's not what you want to do. So, what are your other options? Well, of course, you could go with gray, a wide variety of different grays. There are 50 shades. Or you could go with blue. You've got navy blue. You've got midnight blue. You've got true blue. You've got indigo. So many options here in the blue category and I really think blue looks good for older men. Now, this next mistake, if you're making it, stop this video and go see a barber and get it fixed. What am I talking about? The comb over. Gents, you are not fooling anyone. Seriously, the comb over is a crime against humanity. Consider shaving your head. You're going to look better, you're going to look stronger, you're going to look more dominant or find a hairstyle that when cut shorter is going to look good with you know where you're balding at on your head. Again, a barber can help fix this. The next mistake older guys make trying to look young is they try to smell young. So, if you're 35, if you're 45 and you like this fragrance, all the more power to you. I love this fragrance as well. But why not set yourself apart? If you like something sweet, you like something unique, wear something that honestly no 25 year old is wearing, has the courage to wear and in my opinion is going to set you apart and have you smelling amazing. Wear this to the club and you're going to smell like every other guy there. Wear this to the club. You're going to have three women come sit in your lap at the same time and you won't have to pay for it. Seriously, gents, if you're a mature man, enjoy it and wear fragrances that reflect it. Now, gents, I know you got an opinion. I want to hear from you down in the comments. What are some of the mistakes that you've seen older guys make trying to look young? I want to hear from you down below. So, what video to watch next? Well, how about the style lessons that you can learn from Tom Ford? This guy has a lot to teach. I had a lot of fun with this video. Check it out. I will link to it down in the description.